Hey everybody, this is the Games here, and today I'm going to be offering my analysis of the Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 5 now in production trailer, as well as talking about some of the other things that have recently been revealed about the game, and oh boy, am I excited. So first off, let's talk about the trailer. So at the beginning, there's this noise. At first, it kind of sounds like a foghorn, but it also kind of sounds like maybe Ink Bendy groaning or something. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is. And before that, you can also hear, like, uh, there's some music playing, right? And of course, it's on violin, because, like, all the music in the game is on violin. But, like, it sounds very, like very cool and fancy rather than all mysterious and eerie like a lot of the music does. So that's kind of an interesting contrast and it probably means something but I don't know what it means. So after this we hear who we can only assume is Alice and Angel, you know the good Alice that we met at the end of chapter four saying, Henry, why are you here? And it's important to note that like at the beginning of this it kind of sounds almost like it's coming through a tunnel, which makes me think that right at the end of chapter four, Henry must have like passed out or something because that effect is usually used when someone is like waking up or something like that. So it, it kind of sounds like maybe Henry is just waking up and they're like, they're like waking him up and saying this. So I think that could definitely be the case. And then Henry's response to this is also very interesting. He says, the ink demon has something that we need. I'm going after him. And to this, I, ju I just have to say, good job, good job, the Meatly, for being as vague as humanly possible. Something that we need. I don't know what we need. I don't know what something is. I have no clue what he is referring to here. Which, good job. <laughs> you know, you don't want to give away uh, the ending in the first trailer, but... At the same time, it leaves a theorist like myself wondering, well, what the heck is that supposed to mean? One thing that I think is really important that I haven't seen too many people catch is that he doesn't say, I'm going after it when he talks about something that the Ink Demon needs. He says, I'm going after him, which means that the goal of this chapter is actually going to be to go after Ink Bendy himself, which, oh boy, if that's not a final boss, I don't know what is. Now let's talk about this um, shot that we get here, where it's like zooming in on this pipe. First off, I would like to point out that this is a cave. This is not a studio, or like an underground room in the studio. This is a cave. This is like actually something that is just there under the ground naturally. You can tell because there's like stalagmites and stalactites. I don't know which is which, but they're both there. And so that leads me to believe that maybe the ink is all just kind of draining underground and that's where it's all going to. And this idea of like all the ink in the studio like draining out kind of makes me think this is like the end of the chapter. But at the same time, I think it's more likely that this is the room before the final boss fight. You can see the little axe and the little wood post uh, right next to it. It just it just feels like we're gonna have to go and we're gonna have to grab that axe and that's gonna be our weapon for the final boss. It just feels like the perfect setup for that, you know? Another thing that I think is really interesting, in the new reworked chapter one, the ink machine actually has pipes leading up to it from below. Could this possibly be one of those pipes? and we're going to have to climb up it somehow into the ink machine? I don't think so, but maybe. It's it's possible? I don't know. We'll see. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas out there. It's also important to note that there's a little bendy cutout there because there's bendy cutouts everywhere. But the one thing about this trailer that I could not figure out what it means is the big five that shows up. What is this supposed to mean? It, I, I, I just, I just can't figure it out. Uh, there's a, there's a five there. I don't know what, what this could possibly have to do with this fifth chapter of the game. I don't, I can't figure it out, guys. I'm, I'm stumped on this one. I really don't know what that five could have to do with this fifth installment. I just, I can't figure it out. I'm lost here. I don't know. So anyway, that's pretty much my analysis of the trailer. I wasn't able to take much in specific away from it as for, like, how this whole thing is going to end or anything like that, but I think it does kind of 
uh, show like a setup before a final boss, uh, and maybe give us some hints about some other things, but it's hard to know what those things are because it's so perfectly vague. Next, let's talk Bendy and Nightmare Run. Bendy and Nightmare Run has confirmed to be releasing in early August of this year, so that's pretty dang exciting. And in addition to this, it has also been confirmed that with the release of Chapter 5 in October of this year, Bendy will be coming to consoles, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch, which is all super exciting. I own none of these consoles, but for any of you that do, that's great news, and you'll finally get to experience the game firsthand. Also, for my own gameplay of the new remastered Bendy and the Ink Machine, chapters 1 through 3, uh, those are coming. As of right now, I've played through the first chapter, and I just need to edit that video and actually, you know, get that out. I plan on playing the other ones very soon. I still haven't really seen all the new reworked stuff, so... You know, all the gameplay is going to be blind, but I am a little late <laughs> to getting around to that. But it's coming, don't worry, it's coming very soon. And it's just a little bonus for all of you out there who also like Five Nights at Freddy's and are watching this. The Ultimate Custom Night is coming June 29th, and oh boy, it looks like it's really going to be the Ultimate Custom Night. It looks totally impossible, absolutely terrifying, and I'm... I... I'm... I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you are excited for all this new stuff, go ahead and leave a like on the video and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.